Hey everyone, so I've been kind of looking at all of these Hasselblad cameras, well I have two of them actually, um, and uh, I want to be able to use them for taking snapshots, digital snapshots, because it's stupid to buy 120, uh, 120 film and uh, get it developed, it's be more expensive than than it's worth. Anyway, so, so this is a camera, I have it set on bulb setting right now at f3.5, so it's a nice wide open aperture. Um, so my thought was there are digital backs you can get, which go here, um, that are like $5,000 for this guy or like $200 if you want one that's tethered to a, a 15 year old laptop, which I don't really want to do. Um, which I may do, although I was experimenting with a phase one contacts back and I was getting good results with it. So that's always a direction I could take. Anyway, I was thinking about other ways to do this and I found this device uh, called Hustle Nuts, I think it is. It's basically a back that goes on and it holds an iPhone 4. And what it basically is, is it's a glass, uh, ground glass screen. So it's basically the same as this screen that's in here. So here, let me take that off. You can see that's just a ground glass screen. Um, so it's a ground glass screen that goes here and then your iPhone looks at it. So I just thought, well, I mean, what's what's another way that I could accomplish that? And my thought was, I've got I've got a few backs for it. I mean, this one is for regular 120 film. Um, but there's another back that I have, a slightly older one, that has this little window. There used to be a little flap here. I removed it, just one little pin. All of this is reversible. Um, has little thing here that covers it so that when you have your film loaded you can see the back of the film that's in there usually a film would be in here I'll use this for example um, so that one I mean this is a different one but it has a hole here that looks to the back of the film as it's wound on here so you can see what exposure you're up to but in later models like this one that was no longer a thing Anyway, so I pulled that off so I can see through there. And then I 3D printed this little thing that slides in here. It's a little hard to get out, so I don't think I'm going to, but um, it slides in in place of the film cartridge that holds a spare uh, view screen like, like this one from a uh, 500cm, uh, Hasselblad 500cm, although any ground glass will work, and I was looking into grinding my own because I didn't want lines and stuff on it, but this was a proof of concept. So basically, you're looking through where the film was, and you can see in there, you can see the, the, gla the ground glass screen. So my thought was, what I could do is, Swedish engineers decide that everything has to be in its place, which is awesome. Okay, so there we go. Snap that on there. Make sure that's wound. There we go. Okay, so pull out the dark slide, of course. And I'm going to flip this so that I take a... When I do that, it's a bulb shot and it stays open. And now, if you look in here, you can see out in front of the lens because it's projecting basically that image onto where the slide should be. It's kind of hard to make out there, but I'll raise it up so we're looking at that stuff. You can see that, there we go. So if I can get my phone to focus on that, I could use this for taking digital digital photos through the lens. Now it's it's not optimal, obviously, because basically the the Hasselblad at that point is just working. It's basically just holding a lens for me, which is kind of ridiculous. What I want is I hit the switch or I hit the trigger, and um, and it causes the digital back to take a shot, but 
I mean, this this proves that it is it is feasible to to do something like this. You can see there. Um, so I was thinking of ways I could do this using a uh, a Raspi camera module stuck on the back here, looking through this hole. That way, I don't have to rebuild this whole thing because I could quite easily, well, not easily, but I could quite straightforwardly just. 3D print a new back that mounts onto here that has everything. But before I go down that route, I wanted to do it this way. So yeah, there's the, uh, the ground glass back uh, view screen. And you can see it's uh, this black plate here, which is kind of hard to see because you know, black and black. Um, 3D printed, slides in the back there, goes around that hole and holds this ground glass view screen in place so it's uh it's an idea that has merit maybe um i mean the other way to go is to get a real digital back for it but again that's five thousand dollars so that's not something i'm gonna do no time soon anyway anyway um that's it just thought i'd share that little bit it's a beautiful camera I love the sound it makes. Oh, it's... I mean, you can't tell me that this isn't a wonderful sound. I should have stopped the video by now, but I uh, just love this thing so much. So yeah, and don't forget, there is a mirror in there. So this is actually a single lens reflex. It's an SLR. Well, it's an SLR medium format camera. Not very many of these, I guess. Anyway, that's about it. Have a good one.